All right, in these next few videos, we're going to go ahead and show you how to uh, launch a Dempier through Eclipse, as well as how to generate models. <clears throat> and eventually what we want to do is we want to be able to send an email through Eclipse uh, every time we save something in our Dempier folder with any of the participants or any of the chair people that are attached to that. So let's go ahead and open up Eclipse Galileo first. All right, we'll see our 360 model here. Open that up. What we want to do, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start a run configuration. I've already done this, so I'll just go through the details real quickly and show you. Basically what you want to do is click on job application, click new, and then it'll take you, you can name this generate model is what I've done. The project is Adempier underscore 360, which is the project that it's at. Our main class is going to be model. And our arguments. Our arguments are going to be where I've got this, uh, this folder right here. So if you go look at it... Um, this is where I've got our program arguments at. So Dempier, Dempier 360, this may be different for yours, but let me show you what we're looking for. Pull that up. <clears throat> so we're looking at a Dempier 360 base G here. All right, and this is where all our models, basically what we want to do is this is where we'll be sending all of our information. So this really what this does is this corresponds with the area back here. All right, and I'll show you in a second where we'll be going. Again, base source, uh, org.compierre.model is where we'll be going. Basically, this right here. And we're going to create this generate model inside of org.dempierre.util there. But in here, we're going to be sending it to actually program arguments to dot model. And then we want to make our VM arguments as well, our D property files. This is where you'll find your property files. If you go to my, in my computer, it's under Dempier, Dempier dot properties. Show you that real quickly as well. So if I go to C, Dempier, Dempier dot properties is right there. Okay. And then the Adempier Home is under Adempier, Adempier 360 LTS is where I've got that. So again, I'll show you. Adempier 360 LTS. This is basically where my home's at, where everything's been at. So, All right, once I do that, I can run Apply. And I've already applied this. Everything else stays the same. I'm going to hit Run. Now it'll start to run this program. Now if it is run correctly, this will work really quickly, you'll see a number right here generated three. Let's go ahead and see what exactly it generated. So I can go under base source, ORG, Adempier model. All right, let's create these three tables right there. XC mom, XC participants line, XC mom discussion online. And then it also created XC mom status. Uh, this was already created, so it's already had this one. All right, so now that we've got those, and those have been created, what we want to do is create a uh, M mom. All right, I never had created it, so let's go ahead and just see, show you real quickly how I've done that. And mom right here. All we have to do is right click anywhere in this, click new, Java class. It'll put my folder into my package right at the core gun here. And I can name this mmom here and hit finish. 
and it'll create it for me. So let's go ahead and look, open up MMOM and see what we put inside of here. Now initially what you want to do is create it and just put this in MMOM right here. I'll show you actually a different view. Cancel that. Basically when you create your MMOM model, you want to create it like this. Just copy this over. Package.org.compare.model, import Java Util properties, all information. You copy it and you end up pasting it in here. Um, and then later you will modify that. This is where you end up doing your after save. So once you've created this, you can go ahead and move on into the next portion of it. And before you really move on into the next portion, it's a really good idea that once you've created this, you want to right click, save. I've already saved this already. But then you want to go ahead and go back up. Pull that down a little bit. Go back to your utils developer. Right click your build and run as. This is how you compile the code. You want to make sure that the build is successful. Go ahead and stop it and I'll finish it because this takes a little bit. I'll start back up once it's finished. Alright, as you can see that the build has been successful. So let's go ahead and create another Java class. Go to the base source. Go to an org model right here. And right click. We create a new Java class. And this time we're going to call it Callout Mom. There it is. I'll go ahead and open it up for you. And this is the script you want to have in there. I'll go ahead and show you a different version of it. Again, if once you have the cookbook, the Adempio 3.6 cookbook, this is on page 128. And you can see the code that we want to have. You can drag that. All right. Copy that code over. Drop it in here. Right click save. And then we want to go ahead and compile it again. So we'll go ahead and go back and do the right click run as again and ant build. All right. And that's why we're going to compile it again. Now let's go ahead and go back now. And do some modifications in a Dampier to make sure that this is all going to be connected. So we're going to run back through here. Go ahead and run a Dampier. So again, I've got a Dampier under my C drive here. Dampier. I want to make sure we log in as system system. Let's go to tables and columns. So look for CMOM ID. Sorry, in the CMOM discussion line. CMOM ID. And we'll quickly change our view. We want to see. Then a call out, we're going to go ahead and put this information here. Now our org compare.model.calloutmom, which we just created, get next item number. All right, want to make sure that's there. Once we put that in there, we can hit save. Let's go ahead and log out now. Log back in. It's garden admin. Now in our meeting of minutes, our discussion details, all of our item numbers, what it's going to be in here, they're all going to be in order, sequential order from 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it'll go ahead and 
uh, automatically the numbers are generated and the sequence is maintained, uh, as you'll see. Now I don't have any, anything in here, but that's what the result of this will do. So we'll see in the next video where we continue working with Eclipse to work with a Dempierre.